Good morning, everybody. This is Pod 15 or 14 from wherever you know me. Um, in this tutorial, it's just gonna be a revisiting of an older tutorial, which is tutorial 10, my simple download tutorial. Create a simple downloading thing for your program. But on this tutorial, I would like to show you a more advanced way, one of the many ways that I can teach you. Um, on this one though, it's going to be the same coded line, it's just going to have a little bit more arguments in it. So, let's get started with that. Start up uh, Visual Basics, whichever one you have. Step OK. And then once your form loads up, add a button on your form. Resize your form to whatever you want. And the button, rename it to Download. Double click on your button to, to uh, open up the code sheet. Code sheet. Uh, like that. Anyways, in here you're gonna type my dot computer dot network dot download file. All right, let's close that. And in here you're gonna type open quotation end quotation comma 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 show UI show UI equals True. All right. Basically, show you why is uh, asking you if you want to open up a new window, showing you the progress of your download. So of course, true is gonna make that window appear, and false will not make that window appear. You get me? All right. Comma. Connection timeout. Space. I mean, equals. Uh, five hundred. That's usually what I use. Comma. On user cancel, type false, and overwrite equals true because you want to overwrite the file at all times. If not, then I'm sure you'll get an error. Never even tried it before. So, as you can see, now all you need is the URL and where you want to download it to. Since I don't have any thing I've, you know, downloaded before I didn't get ready for this tutorial basically I'm just gonna copy the download link of this file right here let me go to my local C room local C so I don't have any torrents on this on my um, C drive so now paste the let's say the link of the file wherever you want to do it and then type your location that you want to save it to. So C room three dot torrent, and let's start the program up. Click on the button once it started, and you can see the new window pop up, downloading the file. Now, let's see if this works. I've never tried this before, so I'll try to make two of them. See how many I can use. And hey, it'll be probably useful for you guys if you do it. Or if you see that you can do that. Let's see if it opens up multiple windows. One. Oh, it does it in a straight line, so that's good. Alright, well, that ends it for this tutorial. I taught you a little bit better advanced way of doing it. It makes your program would look, you know, more professional-like. So I hope you liked my tutorial 10 revisit or whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to call it tutorial 10 advanced downloading 1. There we go. That's going to be my title. So thank you for watching the tutorial and have a good day. The other tutorial that's coming up next is going to be one where you can't cancel the program. Or turn it off basically. So thank you for watching. Bye. Got to turn it up.